what we are asked to prepare we are asked to prepare revaluation account partners capital account and the balance sheet of the firm after the death of the partner okay this is the problem number 21 the first part of the question we shall prepare revaluation account revaluation account this i used to say revaluation account is a ledger account it is in it is a ledger account the evaluation account debtor and creditor since it is an account we have written debt or under credit card particulars rupees rupees particulars rupees rupees this once again i repeat the same what i said in the other class here what should be entered what entries should be passed that is passing entry in the journal and posting what should be the posting here in the ledger we should find the profit items and the loss items in other words we should find the increase or decrease in the value of the assets or liabilities from where we should find we should find them from the adjustments given below the balance sheet what is appearing in the question paper or in the question so where the adjustments are it is under or below the balance sheets given in the question so in that case stock to be depreciated that is by 5000 i said i told you very many times they play with the preposition when they use the term by by you should take the entire amount if there is any preposition to you should see the balance sheet from where to what amount from what amount to what amount from 5000 to 7000 2000 increase from 3000 to 1000 2000 decrease therefore we should find where the from is that amount here it is not from to see the to but here the stock to be depreciated by 5000 so it is a depreciation loss decrease in the value of the asset it is a loss therefore to stock account to stock account the amount is 2000 to stock account that is depreciated by 5000 5000 is a loss then second adjustment premises is to be appreciated by 20000 i mean 20% appreciation that means increase in the value of the asset premises is an asset it is an increase in the value of an asset therefore to show the increase it is a profit so we will write it on the credit side by premises sir
by premises at all. Twenty percent of the premises. The value of premises is one lakh twenty thousand. Twenty percent of is two into twelve thousand, twenty-four thousand. We should write. So by premises account twenty-four thousand. So the second point is adjustment is four. Third one to provide four thousand for bad debts. Bad debts is a loss. Provide. Four thousand, four thousand for bad debts. So bad debts is a loss to bad debts account. To bad debts account, four thousand. So what should be the balancing figure? So these are all the three items given here. The last adjustment is regarding the settlement. So we will discuss it at the time of preparing capital account. So these are all the items now. The total amount twenty four thousand here nine thousand. Write the greatest total on both the sides twenty four thousand. The balancing figure is fifteen thousand. This fifteen thousand should be divided among the partners. That is to revaluation profit transferred to. Transferred to the three partners, Varsha, Shanti, Madhuri. Varsha, Shanti, Madhuri. Varsha, Shanti, Madhuri. Varsha's capital account. Santi's capital account. Madhuri's capital account. This fifteen thousand must be divided. How? What is the condition given? The first line: Varsha, Santi, and Madhuri are partners, sharing profits in the ratio five is to four is to three. Five is to four is to three. According to this ratio, this amount should be divided among the partners. So, fifteen thousand into five plus four, nine plus three, twelve. Five by twelve, four by twelve into three by twelve, because this is the ratio given in the problem. Five is to four is to three. In the ratio, five is to four is to three, right? And what should be the amount here? You simplify this. One twelve remainder three thirty. Two twelves are twenty-four. Remainder six sixty. Five twelves are sixty. One zero. Then you multiply this by five for the first partner. Multiply this by four for second partner. Multiply this by by three for the third partner. So this one zero. Six thousand two fifty, and the year four times five thousand, 
and this is three times three thousand seven fifty. After dividing the amount in the ratio, you should check whether the total is coming as fifteen thousand or not. Okay, now it is coming. The division of profit is okay now. Six thousand two fifty. And for the second partner, it is five thousand. And for the third partner, three thousand seven fifty. Six thousand two fifty. Five thousand. Three thousand. Seven fifty. Two fifty. Five thousand. And three thousand. Seven fifty. This is the share of the three partners. And how to prepare the revaluation account? Once again, I repeat, revaluation account. This side, the data, this side, credit card, because it is one of the important ledgers. Particular rupees, rupees, particular rupees, rupees. Okay. The first item, stock to be depreciated. It is a depreciation, decrease in the value of the asset. Therefore, last item. Then the second point, premises is to be appreciated by twenty percent. How it is appreciated twenty percent? So the value of premises is one lakh twenty thousand, and out of it twenty percent, twenty by hundred, you can calculate twenty four thousand. Since the value of premises is increasing, it is twenty four thousand. We can write on the credit side. Then. The third point: provide the four thousand for bad debts. Bad debts is a loss. You know that bad debts. Bad debts is a loss. Therefore, it is a loss item. You write on the debit side to bad debts account of four thousand. Now we can find the credit total profit twenty four thousand. Total loss only nine thousand. The excess amount fifteen thousand. Excess profit fifteen thousand should be divided among the partners in the ratio five is to four is to three. So fifteen thousand into total twelve five by twelve four by twelve three by twelve we have divided and written here the amount. With this, the revaluation profit revaluation profit is over. Password. The second part is the capital account. The second part is the capital account. We have drawn many times the format. Even then, I am doing so. The repetition will make memory. There are three partners. Particulars for three partners, three columns on the debits, and particulars and three partners three columns for three partners. This is the capital account. It is a ledger like data, credit card. Particulars, the name of the three partners. Varsha, Shanti, Mangvi. Varsha, Shanti, Varsha, Shanti, Mangvi. 
the same on the credit side particulars varsha samti madhuri okay what should be the first to enter in the capital account they said very many times these are all repetitions the capital of the partners 80 60 20 80000 60000 20000 20, in the name of by balance brought down 80000 60,000 and 20,000. This should be the first entry. 80,000, 60,000, 20,000. This should be the first entry. What should be written after this? I said there are six items. The revaluation. general reserve reserve fund goodwill profit and loss workmen's compensation workmen's compensation these are all the six items appearing in your book and out of these six What are the items given in the problem? We should attend now. Revaluation, revaluation, profit or loss in the question we have already seen. There is revaluation, profit, and therefore we should write on the credit side. If it is a loss, we should write on the debit side. Here in this problem, revaluation, profit, therefore by revaluation. The share of the each partner six thousand two fifty five thousand and the three thousand seven fifty. This is the share of each partner. So revaluation over. Then what about the remaining five? What all given? The next item given is general reserve. general reserve reserve fund they always appear on the credit side by general reserve what is the amount of general reserve general reserve amount 48000 and this 48000 should be divided in the ratio The ratio given in the problem is to five is to four is to three. Five is to four is to three. Therefore, totally twelve. This is five by twelve. Four by twelve into three by twelve. So if you simplify this four times, so that is four thousand five into four thousand. Twenty thousand four into four thousand sixteen thousand three into four thousand twelve thousand. So this amount should be written here. Twenty thousand sixteen thousand and the twelve thousand. Thousand. Then, anything else given? It is profit and loss account is given on the asset side. I taught you very many times. Then this, this is over. Then we have come to the profit and loss. Then how to deal with the profit and loss? This is liability asset in the balance sheet. 
if profit and loss account appears on the liability side it is profit if the profit and loss account appears on the asset side it is loss so profit and loss if this side profit this side loss here it is given on the asset side in the book also it is given as a loss in the bracket it need not be given it is given luckily for you it is given as less loss it is 12000 so that 12000 should be divided among the partners in the ratio 12000 into 5 by 12 into 4 by 12 into 3 by 12 if you simplify this 1000 5 into 1000 5000 4 into 1000 4000 and 3 into 1000 3000 so 5000 4000 3000 it is loss if it is profit we can write on the credit side since it is loss we should write on the debit side to profit and the loss account it is 5000 4000 3000 it is a profit and the loss account and these are the two items out of these five except the revaluation so general reserve and the profit and loss account are given we have attended to now so no other item reserve fund is not there goodwill is not there workman's compensation fund is not there so we can close the capital account of the partners close the capital account of the partners what is it here 23 25 35 35,750 Here 81,000 Here 1,6,250 Right is here only very small amounts are given Therefore, you write the greater amount here, the same 1,6250 and 81,000 and 35,750. Yes, now we should define the balancing figure. What we will write for the balancing figure to balance, carry it out to balance carry down what should be the amount from this 1,6250 5,000 we should minus therefore the balancing figure is 1,1250 from this 81,000 4,000 is over therefore it is 77,000 and from this 35,750 3,000 should be minus Therefore, 32,750. This should be the balance. That is 77,000, 1 lakh 1,250, 77,000, and 32,750. Good. This should be shown as the balance. So, what happens here? The partner Madhuri, Madhuri is retiring. Madhuri, yes, Madhuri died. This is here, Madhuri died. The, after the death of the partner, how this amount can be kept here in balance carried out? It cannot be. So, this should be shown separately. 32,750. The died partner's share should be shown separately. 
we have seen it already in the other problems the retaining partners amount is shown separately likewise here also the dyed partners share should be shown separately and therefore here what we should write who is the partner dyed the partner dyed is madhuri so here madhuri executors account to madhuri executors account account we should show because madhuri is the partner who died on his behalf there is a person who is technically we call the executor so madhuri executor if the partner has not yet died and he is retiring in that case madhuri is capital account or madhuri is loan account we will write madhuri because the amount is not settled If the amount is settled, we will write to bank account. We will write thirty-two thousand seven fifty. But here, it is not the case of a retiring partner, but it is the case of a partner who died in the middle of the service. The partner who died in the middle of the Business. So therefore, here we should write the Madhuri executor account. We should write it should be a separate one. Once again, I repeat the same. This is the second part of the account, the capital account. Under this, what should be done? In that case, the capital account is the second part of the question. For the second part, what we must do? we should prepare the capital account under this these are all the columns and they are under this columns so what should be passed first by balance to brought down this entry is for the partners amount which is invested in the name of the capital so it is given in the problem itself we can write this as brought down then what are the other possible entries For the possible entries, we should consider these six items. That is, reserve, revaluation, general reserve, reserve fund, goods bill, profit and loss, workman's compensation. These are all the six items to be considered. The first one, revaluation. When there is revaluation profit, we should write on the credit side. When there is the revaluation loss, we should write on the debit side. Here it is revaluation profit. Therefore, by revaluation account and the profit share we have seen already in revaluation account six thousand two hundred fifty, five thousand three thousand seven hundred fifty. Okay. After doing this, the next one general reserve it is given in the liability side. Therefore, general reserve amount forty eight thousand that should be divided in the ratio five is to four is to three. Therefore. Forty-eight thousand into five by twelve, four by twelve into three by twelve. If you simplify and write twenty thousand, sixty thousand, twelve thousand, that what I have always said. Then after this, no reserve fund, no goodwill. But this profit and loss account is given here in the problem. Where it is appearing in the asset side, the profit and loss account may appear either on the liability side or on the asset side. If it appears on the liability side, this profit and loss account, then it is a profit. If the same account is appearing on the other side, profit and loss account, then it is loss. Profit and loss. Liability side profit. Then on the other side loss. Luckily, it is given in your question itself. Profit and loss account bracket loss. It is it need not be mentioned. Even if it is even simply profit and loss account, we should take that since it is appearing on the other side, it is loss. So profit and loss account, it is a loss. So this loss should be written on the debit side of the capital account. So profit and loss account, that amount 
12,000 must be divided in the ratio 5 is to 4 is to 3, 5 by 12, 4 by 12 and 3 by 12. Okay, 5 into 12,000, 5 by 12 simply 5,000, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000. That's what I know to that here. Then after that you find the total, these totals are coming, you write the same thing here because these are all small numbers. Then you check the balance for Varsha 1,250, for Shanti 77,000 and for Madhuri 32,750. And the Madhuri's amount should not be written here in the balance carried down and only it should be separately mentioned because the Madhuri has already died and this amount should be paid to her executor. Even to that executor, it is not settled. You can see the adjustment number 4. The final amount due to Madhuri was not paid. Since he is not alive, the amount should be paid to her executor, but that even not settled. So, Madhuri is the partner who died, therefore his executor, Madhuri executor's account, the amount should be shown separately. Since here this is a balance carried down and this side we should write by balance brought down. Amount is 1,1250 and for Shanti it is 77,000. That's all. Fast. That is the balance sheet of the firm after death. So, we shall prepare now the balance sheet of the firm. This is balance sheet. I said as usual very many times balance sheet is a statement. Balance sheet after death of a partner. Balance sheet after death or as on we can write the date what it is. Balance sheet Ratio balance sheet 31st December 1 1 2018. Madhuri died, therefore, as on 1 1 2018. After death, or as on 1 1 2018. So, you know the columns liabilities, rupees, rupees, assets. Rupees, rupees, right. How to prepare the balance sheet? Go to the balance sheet given in the question. What is the first item? Premises. Premises on the asset side. What is given regarding the premises? 20% appreciation. So it should be added. So, premises, the first item. 1 lakh 20,000 or uh, yes, 1 lakh 20,000. The revaluation we have found out the appreciation, appreciation and depreciation less and appreciation. Twenty percent of this is 24,000. 
We have calculated already 10% to 20,000, 20% to 24,000, therefore 1,44,000. Then the next item is stock. Stock to be depreciated by 5,000. It is given clearly in the first adjustment. Stock to be depreciated 40,000 from that stock 40,000 less depreciation depreciation is 5,000. So it is 35,000, 35,000. Then the third item, debtors, debtors 50,000, less the adjustment number 3 to provide 4,000 for bad debts. So less provision for bad debts. Provision for bad debts it is 4,000 given. You show it is less 4,000. So, 50 minus 4, 46,000. What is the next item given? Cash at bank, 18,000. Cash at bank, 18,000. The last item, profit and loss account, it has been included in the capital account and we need not write on the asset side. Then go to the capital accounts. The capital account on the liability side. Who are the two continuing partners? Varsha Santi. Varsha These are the two continuing partners, whereas Madhuri died, their amount, amount of capital is 1,1250, then regarding Shanti, it is 77,000, 77,000. So you can add this to and write 1,78,000, Then Madhuri is retiring, I mean Madhuri died Therefore, this retail, I mean, died partner C. Executor's loan account. See, Madhuri Executor's account. How much it is? Madhuri Executor's account is 32,750. Madhuri Executor's account. Executor's account. That is Madhuri Executor's loan account it is. The amount is 32,750. 32,750. Other than this, what is given in the balance sheet? General reserve already we have taken to capital account. Leave it. And the last one is sundry creditors account. Sundry creditors. Sundry creditors. Sundry creditors. 
the amount of sundry credit also is thirty-two thousand. Now we have completed balance sheets, and we should check whether anything is missing from the adjustment. Stock depreciation attended, premises appreciation attended, and the third one, bad debts attended, and the last one, the final amount due to Madhuri was not paid. That we should we have attended that Madhuri is executed as well. So everything we have attended. Now we should find the total of this and check whether we are getting or not. We shall close the balance sheet now. Check whether we are getting the equal total on both the sides. This is seven fifty two fifty thousand. Two lakhs forty three thousand. We shall here check whether we are getting the same answer or not. Two lakhs forty three thousand. We have got the same answer, so the balance sheet we have prepared is correct. Once again, I repeat the same. Listen, the third part of this question is balance sheet. Here specifically it is given. You need not search what should be written on the heading at the place of heading. Here it is given at the balance sheet of the firm after death. Balance sheet after death. Or if you want to be more specific, on what date he died? He died on one one two thousand eighteen. Therefore, as on one one two thousand eighteen. Either you can write this or this. You need not write both. Any one of these two, given in the bracket or this one. Okay. Now balance sheet, liabilities, rupees, rupees, assets, rupees. How we should attend the balance sheet? We check the balance sheet given in the problem. You attend each and every item one by one. Premises one lakh twenty thousand. Here there is the second adjustment appreciation by twenty percent. Appreciation to be added, depreciation to be minus. So that is less. Add twenty-four thousand, you will get one lakh forty-four thousand. Then stock, it is depreciation. First adjustment itself five thousand. Forty minus five thirty-five thousand. Then third adjustment four thousand for bad debts. So debtors fifty thousand. This bad debts is connected with the debtors. Therefore. That cost fifty thousand less the provision for bad debts four thousand you will get forty six thousand and the next item in the balance sheet is cash at bank eighteen thousand three hundred right the next item in the asset side is profit and loss account it has been brought already to capital account and they divided that so leave it go to the liability side liability side capital account varsha and sampi only should be returned. And because the Madhuri has already died, therefore Varsha and Santi, the capital account we have written under carry down or brought down the amount one lakh one thousand two fifty for Varsha for Santi seventy seven thousand we have added and written in the outer form. Since Madhuri has died, it should be shown separately in the name of Madhuri Executor account because. According to the fourth adjustment, the final amount due to Madhuri was not paid. If it is paid, we should have minus from the bank amount. But here it is not. It is not paid. Therefore, Madhuri executor account. That is a direct partner's executor account. And the next one, general reserve, we have taken already to the capital account. Therefore, we need not pay. And the last item is credit loss. Seven credit loss. It is a credit. Thirty credit loss. Thirty-two thousand. General sir, we left it because we have taken to already capital account. Thirty credit loss. Thirty-two thousand. We have returned. Now, before closing the balance sheet, check whether all the adjustments are attended to or not. Stock depreciation attended. 
premises appreciation attended and um, back debts attended with the debtors and the last one final amount due to Madhuri was not paid therefore Madhuri exited the account has recovered. We have attended all the adjustment after attending all the adjustment add them find the see that whether we are getting equal total we have got the equal total therefore the problem what we have done is correct okay with that we finish we shall continue it in the next class